here we are. I'm here with Swallow707. Say yeah. hi, Swallow. Hello. And there's a few things I want to show you in this video. Um, there's four things. I want to show you these collectors, energy collectors in Tekkit. Uh, I want to show you my solar panel factory. I want to show you my mass fabricator. I want to show you my security system. I won't show you recipes because you already have a way to learn how to make recipes. If you use this NEI tool and you want to make a mass fabricator, it tells you how to do that. So I'm not going to tell you how to do that. But let me back up. We're playing Tekkit, which is a version of Minecraft. It's a whole bunch of mods, and we're playing on our Tekkit server and uh, Tekkit 3. What else, Swallow? Um, it's basically like if you know the Yogscast, they made a video a long time ago explaining the Technic pack. This is a newer and multiplayer version. Tekkit is basically Technic with Bucket. Yeah, so uh, I want to start by showing you these collectors. These are energy collectors. And sort of the way I start in a new world, the first priority is to uh, start with a transmutation tablet, which is great for turning stuff into other stuff. There's lots of videos about that. Once I have a transmutation tablet, tablet I start making energy collectors. And I make them in a special arrangement. Um, part of this arrangement I learned from Swallow's brother, I Jacob 9 And some of this is sort of my own thing. So I'm going to create a fresh one off to the side somewhere. And we want a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I'm going to make a Mark. Well, I have enough for Mark 3. So we start with uh, an energy condenser. And we'll grab a few relays. I'll go with Mark 2. And how about some Mark II collectors? Something like this. A couple more relays. Uh, a bunch more of these. And it seems like I have tons and tons of stuff. And the reason is I've been gradually building up this collection of energy collectors. So here's how it looks. You start with an arrangement of collectors in a plus symbol, like so. And then I put the condenser here. And then I put some relays here. And then I fill this out with more collectors. The whole idea here is that the energy collectors convert sunlight into stuff. They transmit that stuff through the relays into the energy condenser. Ooh, how about that? I got exactly the right number. Sweet. Oh, no, I need four more. Close, but not quite. Not quite there. Uh, put that back up there. And I wanted four more of these. And there are collector mark ones, there are collector mark twos, and there are collector marks threes. And again, I don't have to show you how to make these. You can figure that out on your own. Start, obviously, with the mark ones, which doesn't take as much resources. And then you build a whole bunch of them. And then once you have a bunch of them, you tear them down and upgrade them from Mark 1 to Mark 2 to Mark 3. Do you know about the Swift Wolf, Swift Wolf's Rending Gale? Yeah, it lets you fly, and it's awesome. Yeah. That's called the Swift Wolf's Rending Gale. I'm not going to show you how to make that, but it's awesome. So then we put that there, and there, and there, and there. And now this energy collector can make stuff. So if I want more glowstone... Or if I decide I'd rather have relays, it's fantastic. It's great. So when I'm done making this video, I'll probably tear this down. Because frankly, three, uh, four full sets of these in Mark III produces as much glowstone or dark matter or red matter as I could ever want. And if you're playing on a Tekkit server, Depending on where you place these, I don't know what the deal is with this, but when I log out, these continue to make more red matter. And it depends on where you are in the world. I don't think that's true everywhere. So if you make these and you log out and you come back and you find that you don't have extra stuff, uh, try building a collection of these elsewhere. And I don't know what the story is with that. Maybe if you do, you can leave me a comment about that. So that's my energy collectors. Why don't you explain what dark matter and red matter is? Well... 
I mean, dark matter and red matter are really expensive items. And uh, why don't you explain what they are? Well, basically, a dark matter, you craft it using 17 diamonds. And then the red matter, so each dark matter is worth red, uh, 17 diamonds. Then the red matter takes one dark matter plus eight more diamonds. So basically, you use these as diamonds pretty much to make super, super, super strong tools and stuff. So as you can see in his inventory, he's got a dark matter sword, dark matter pickaxe, and dark matter shovel. And those, there's some really great stuff you can do with that, and there's probably lots of videos about, um, about that. So I don't want to show you that either, but it's awesome. So the whole point, though, is you've got to have these collectors generating this material that you can make into other material. And I use Klein Stars to store this stuff. So if I were to gather up my red matter here, it's been a few hours since I did this. You didn't pick that one up. There you go. And we go over to our transmutation tablet, and I put the Klein Star on the left, and I put the red matter in the fire, and uh, my Klein Star goes from 10 million EMC to 33 million EMC. It's nearly full, and now I'm walking around with tons and tons of stuff. There's my mass fabricator. We'll come back to that in a second. Uh, it's too loud. Let's yeah, turn down. Turn down the okay, so that's collectors. The next thing I want to show you is a solar panel factory. Uh, you'll notice on my roof, I have three high voltage solar arrays. Um, that's a lot of solar panels, all condensed down to these high voltage things. And making these by hand is ridiculous and it's impossible. It would take you forever and it would be just too much work. So I've made this factory. It's a three phase factory for taking raw materials and processing them into high voltage solar arrays. Uh, phase one makes things like wire, which is sort of important, and it makes electronic circuits. These are automated crafting tables, by the way. Yeah, I should have said that. So you've got crafting tables, and you've got automated crafting tables. These automated crafting tables, what you do is you put the recipe on the left side, but don't take the stuff out of the right side. You put the automated crafting table next to a uh, chest, and then you attach pipe to the crafting table and you pump the stuff out. So this is part of the industrial craft aspect of TechIt. Again, find somebody else's video to sort of learn about this. The whole point is that you can use these capabilities to make a solar panel factory. So we've got wire in this automated crafting table. We've got electronic circuits in this automated crafting table. We've got transformers, LV transformers, to combine solar panels with these guys later on. And in this one, we're making batteries. So that's stage one of our solar factory. If I go around to here, I'll show you the machines in a minute. We go over here, here's phase two of the solar panel factory, starting with machine blocks made out of refined iron. Refined iron is what you get when you take iron and you put it in a furnace. And what's in this one? We make generators out of machine blocks, furnaces, and batteries. Machine blocks are basically just the the base building block for any machine that you're going to make, there's going to be a machine block somewhere in the recipe. Yep. This one is making... Oh, th that's probably the most important one. It's making solar panels out of electronic circuits, coal dust, glass, and generators. The coal dust is made by putting coal in a macerator. And did I show you this one already? Oh, and this is the one where we take low voltage solar arrays uh, and make them out of solar panels combined with the low voltage transformers we made in phase one. These low voltage solar arrays are carried using an array of pipes down below, and I'll show you those next. They're carried to phase three of our solar factory where we're making uh, medium voltage transformers out of machine blocks and wire. We're making more machine blocks uh, for these transformers. And we're making medium voltage solar arrays out of the low voltage solar arrays. Taking eight medium voltage solar arrays and assembling those into a high voltage solar array using the same recipe as before with a 
uh, Transformer and a whole bunch of these guys, uh, I don't automate that final step because it only happens about once an hour and I don't mind doing that myself. So these are the three phases uh, and, and it's done using these three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten automated crafting tables and this horrific array of pipes down below. And I don't want to hear music. Stand by while I get rid of the music. Thank you. And so here's phase one with these pipes, some of which carry to phase two. And some of that stuff goes over to phase three. I suppose I could explain in detail how all these pipes work. But then we take a 20 minute video and make it 40 minutes. And I don't think I want to do that. And I don't have an audience big enough to need me to do that. So I don't know. I guess if it's really necessary, leave me some comments. And if there are enough comments, I'll go into more detail about how these pipes work. Fair? Let's go up and look at the machines. Up. Whoops, not that far up. Our machines. We have a recycler. I'll show you that later. We have a macerator. Now this is a rotary macerator. It's the advanced version of the macerator and it does stuff much, much faster. Don't have to start with a rotary macerator. Start with a regular macerator. Similarly, start with a regular extractor. You don't need a centrifuge extractor right away. And the same thing goes for your furnace. Start with an elect electro furnace and then you can upgrade to an induction furnace which is much, much, much faster. Actually, you'd start with a regular furnace. Yeah, I mean, obviously you're starting, imagine your first day in Minecraft when you first started playing Minecraft a long time ago. You start with just a stone furnace and you start building your way up from there. Lots of wood pipe to get stuff out of other things. Oh, I do want to mention this. This is an energy link. In Ticket 3, the uh, electric engine went away and instead you have an energy link. Um, and it uses a lot of energy, so you might want to wait before you use this. Just use redstone engines to begin with to move stuff out of your furnaces. But when you've got two redstone furnaces, uh, redstone engines dumping stuff into an induction furnace, it produces refined iron fast enough that it's sort of impractical to try to pull that out with redstone engines. So I use an energy link, and energy links move stuff out of machines unbelievably quickly and I've got the energy link attached to a low voltage transformer so it doesn't pull too awfully much energy for that. So we put iron here, we put uh, sticky resin here to make rubber which is then funneled over here to make wire, we put coal in our macerator to make coal dust and then um, we'll talk about that next, that's our recycling system. So. Uh, a little while ago, I made a, a separate video to see how long it takes to use this whole contraption to get one high voltage solar array, and it ended up taking about 42 minutes. Let's watch. Yep. So that was awesome. We're back. Wow, that was super cool. That was really cool. Because, you know, in the video, we just waited like five seconds, and now we're right where we were. So the last thing I want to show you, oh, there's two things I want to show you, mass fabrication and my security system. Here we have a recycler. The recycler takes any item and turns it into scrap. Uh, for eight items put in, there's a, a decent chance you'll get a piece of scrap that comes out of it. And what likes scrap is my mass fabricator up above. Once again, you can figure out for yourself 
how to make a mass fabricator, but once you've made it and attached it to an MFSU, basically a gigantic battery, a colossal battery, battery uh, which is connect. That's why you need all these solar panels. I have two MFSUs, one here running our machines. It's nighttime, so it's gradually depleting. And this other MFSU attached to my mass fabricator, which you can turn off if you apply redstone. So right now my mass fabricator is turned off. Let's switch it on. It is on. And it wants scrap. If you put scrap in it, it makes stuff faster. Right now it's going unbelievably slowly. Yeah. The mass fabricator makes UU matter, and UU matter is used to make quantum armor. And you can use quantum armor to make explosions and lightning and all sorts of other fun stuff. So this is kind of the final stage of the game for me, is when you have so much UU matter that you've made quantum armor. Then you throw away the world and start over. And your kids get really mad. Yep. Uh, all right, so downstairs, let me get a whole bunch of dirt to put in the recycler, which will send scrap up to the mass fabricator. Transmutation tablet. Dirt, please. If anybody knows a better way to cycle through and find dirt, there you go, let's get cobblestone. Lots and lots and lots of cobblestone. This um, contraption I've rigged up with the energy link dumping stuff from this chest into the recycler, and the recycler with its 10 overclockers, an energy storage upgrade, and the necessary transformer upgrade, um, can eat this stuff. Look how fast. So it eats up this dirt just as fast as we can dump it in. So I've put all this... Oh, here's another trick I just learned yesterday from iJacob9. If I hold Shift and Control and click, then all of the cobblestone dumps in. And look how fast it leaves this chest. It goes ripping into this recycler. The recycler just eats it up and spits out scrap. And we see now scrap being sent. We hear the mass fabricator chewing on the scrap. And it makes the progress of fabricating this UU matter much, 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 much faster. Basically, scrap, as you can see, it's this amplifier. It just makes it faster, basically. Yep. It amplifies the electricity. Yeah. Yeah. And while I was talking, well, no, it didn't eat all of it. But you can see, it's just amazing. So every now and then, if, if you really want extra UU matter, periodically you come and you fill this up with cobblestone. And you're good. So you can see in the creation of solar panels and in the operation of your mass fabrication, you got to have uh, stuff in your transmutation tablet, whether you're using um, these, these Klein stars or whether you're just storing stuff in your transmutation tablet. You have to generate a prodigious amount of what they call EMC. And for that reason, you really have to assemble these collections of energy collectors. By the way, those gigantic chests in there that just have... The, the, in it, there? No, the downstairs. Mm. The chests that have unbelievable amounts of slots in them. Uh, they're called alchemical chests. They're just big chests, basically. Yep. And you'll want to know how to use those and make those. Again, with the uh, trick here, you say alchemical chest, and there it is. And you click on it, and it tells you how to make it. And if you don't know how to make the covalence dust, you click on that, and it tells you everything you need to know. So that's not for this video. Sweet. So the last thing I want to show you is my security system, because now, you know, I've got red matter all over the place, and I've got, I mean, this collection of four fully assembled energy collector flowers, if that's what you want to call them, is unbelievably valuable. And I mostly trust the people that play on my server, but not completely. So that's why we have a security system, which I will now turn off so that I don't uh, liquidate myself. I'm also going to drop all my stuff just in case something goes wrong. So this is a wireless transmitter, which you can find out how to make by typing wireless. And it's all here. Transmitter, receiver. That's so that I don't have to run redstone all the way down to here. God, I hope I don't die. Yeah, we're good. So what we see here is the uh, redstone receiver. And that's supplying redstone power to these mysterious looking objects. These are Tesla coils. <laughs> and they're not hard to make. Take a few MV transformers out of your solar panel factory. 
likewise all the rest of this stuff and you've got a Tesla coil which if it's not if it doesn't have this antenna on it that's a piece of gold cable you know I don't really need this anymore anyway this will electrocute anyone within about four spaces if it's powered with medium voltage power and if it's supplied with redstone so directly above this spot that's where my solar panels are and there's a medium voltage transformer and it brings all this stuff down here I've placed an MFE down a little bit lower so I have two levels of Tesla coils all around the perimeter of my base so there's this level which is about I don't know 15 blocks or so above sea level and then down close to sea level I have another perimeter of Tesla coils all on the same circuit the redstone comes down some stairs here. I could have used another transmitter, I suppose, but I'm, I, old habits die hard. Lots and lots of these Tesla coils all the way around. The upshot of which is that if I turn on the redstone circuit, it will energize redstone to all these Tesla coils, which will take power from my power infrastructure and uh, electrocute the daylights out of anybody who comes close to my perimeter, which is awesome. Shall we go find somebody to electrocute? I'm way ahead of you. Let me turn this thing on. Not long ago, uh, Octothorpe and I had a little experiment. Oops, I want my Swift Wolf's rending gale so I can fly. Uh, we had a little experiment, and I invited him to check out my perimeter. And the way I've designed this, I've got high, high voltage signs all the way around. We've got a, a wooden fence, which is easy enough to get through, and then I've put a metal fence just for decoration inside so if you're between the wooden fence and the metal fence you can actually see some dead zombies here um, that's the warning zone and if you're in that zone there's a good chance you'll die and if you penetrate that zone and go into my mountain there's an even better chance you'll die this doesn't really defend against folks who uh, build a bridge say from Octothorpe's house across but that's forbidden on our server and there's a chance that if you were to dig down you could come up right through the middle um, which would also be sort of frowned upon. Mainly, I did this for fun. So let's uh, let's switch over to the other video we made and watch Davin as he tries to, I mean, watch Octothorpe as he tries to get into my base. Hi, Octothorpe. Say something about Octothorpe. He is Bob the Builder. Yep. Be careful. I'm on. Don't die. Ah, uh, careful. It's an electric fence, don't you know? In he goes. In he goes. And. Go <laughs> on. Sort of a no man's land. Depending on where you are, you may or may not get killed. But if you go past that ele that uh, iron fence, sayonara. Yep. It's got to hurt. Bye, YouTube. Octothorpe is planning a YouTube channel of his own, so check him out. Yep, we'll have a link in the description as soon as he gets that going. So yeah, that was cool. Poor Octothorpe. Poor Octothorpe. He died for a good cause, and he knew he was getting killed, and it was nice of his mom to say hi, too. Uh, oh, last thing. Here's my quarry. I've decided quarries are worthless. Is that how you feel, um, uh, Swallow? Or yeah, what do you, think? you don't need quarries really. Kind of like for the they're fun. Quarries they're fun are, to make. Quarries are fun and they look cool and they destroy the landscape and that's awesome. But they're not really needed. No, I can mine with a regular old iron pickaxe and produce material, valuable material, faster than a quarry can. So, okay, that was your tour of our collectors, our solar panel factory, our mass fabrication system, and my security system. Bye for now, YouTube. Bye.